Hi, this is Greg. Thanks for checking out the Leadership Excellence Channel. I am delighted to offer to you the audio of my original book entitled 52 Leadership Tips That Will Change How You Lead Others. It was first published in 2006 and is available on Amazon.com. I hope you find it to be beneficial for your personal growth and your own leadership development. Feel free to make any comments below and be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so that you're notified when each of the 52 tips becomes available. Here's the next tip in the series. Leading part-time workers. It is often difficult to lead part-time workers. Most organizations give them lower level work and they are often made to feel like outsiders by full-time employees. In addition, part-time workers are usually given a limited opportunity for advancement within the organization. This leads to a motivation problem and lower productivity. Within this negative environment, it is often difficult to spot the positive potential in some of these workers that may result in full-time opportunities. Here are some tips that leaders can use to develop and motivate part-time employees. Offer above average financial compensation. Give your part-time workers a reason to appreciate and be enthusiastic about the work they do. Offer bonuses based on company established incentives. By doing this, you will attract and retain the best part-time workers available and prevent competitors from rating those who offer the most potential to grow into full-time positions. Provide a great orientation program. Start off by treating these employees with respect and value. The first impression they are given is important and will make them more productive. Let them know about their assignments, who is allowed to give them work and the basic rules of the workplace. Take the time to review their duties in detail, and let them know what is expected, and what are considered good work skills. Offer variety in their workload. It is demoralizing to give part-time employees only grunt work, or mundane boring tasks. Take the time to find out what special skills or talents a part-time worker has. Then give them some tasks that will develop or nurture these skills. Interesting work makes for a better and more fulfilled worker, and it also increases their longevity. Provide each worker a mentor. Even with good orientation a new worker will become confused and have questions. The best way to make these new workers more effective and make them feel like a part of the team is to assign them a mentor. The mentor should be a full-time worker who has the time and temperament to work with newbies and patiently answer questions. Offer flex time as a benefit to part-time workers. Allow these workers to have flexible hours to meet their individual needs. Many of these workers have situations that require them to work only part-time. For example, they might be raising children, caring for parents or also working another job. You will retain the better workers by making this perk a distinct advantage in your organization while reducing costs for the constant retraining of replacement workers. Establish a weekly schedule that accommodates both their needs, and the organization's ongoing needs. Reduce competition and resentment toward part-time workers. From the perspective of full-time workers, the part-timers may be considered a threat to their jobs. Make plain to full-time employees that the goal of having a part-time workforce is twofold. First, they reduce some of the workload of the full-time staff and their employment makes everyone's jobs easier. Secondly, some part-time workers will develop skills that can be incorporated into the organization in the future as new job openings are created. Think about creative ways you can grow part-time workers into productive and valued staff. The benefit of moving part-timers into the full-time staff is you already know their work habits and skills. On the other hand, they also know your organization well and will blend into the workplace culture more quickly. Consider that it was Henry I. Kaiser who said, When your work speaks for itself, don't interrupt.